Hey guys, today we're talking about Kenny Burrell, and it turns out Kenny Burrell may need your help. Kenny Burrell, one of the great, great living legends of jazz, jazz guitar, still up, still around at age 87, but he's run into some bad luck lately. And the reason I'm doing this video today is because I just saw a few minutes ago that his wife set up a GoFundMe page for him because apparently he's in some kind of financial trouble. Now the good news is Kenny's fans have rushed to his aid and in the first day they've already raised something like 80 plus thousand of the hundred thousand she's asking. But let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with Kenny and I'll show you some of my records because you know this is a vinyl record channel and I listen to Kenny on vinyl, Blue Note, there you go. Kenny has been around since the mid 50s. This is probably his best album, best known album on Blue Note. But anyway, what's going on with Kenny? And I gotta, I gotta grab my phone to read this news article. But uh, what's going on lately is Kenny apparently did a concert at uh, UCLA a couple years ago for his birthday, and he had some kind of accident, fell, I guess, and is uh, needs some medical help. On top of that, he's having problems with uh, his finances in general, supposedly. He and his wife were the victims of some kind of scam, elder care, elder abuse scam, or and or identity theft, where they cleaned out most of his bank account, and they're in some kind of dispute with the bank about restoring those funds. You can read about that online. I'm going to place some of the links to some of these articles online, and then um, he also has a dispute with his condos homeowner association. They want to do some kind of mold abatement and lead poisoning abatement, etc., etc. It costs a lot of money and basically takes you out of your house for a long period of time. And his wife is having trouble caring for him and taking, taking care of him and doesn't have the money to deal with all this stuff. So this is an amazingly tragic story for a guy who's been giving us music for how long ago? It was 1950. Uh, a long time. 60 plus years he's been making records hundreds of great records um but here's what doesn't make any sense is because can you see that is that in focus kenny lives here in ucla and he's been involved with the ucla uh, jazz program since the late 70s and back then he joined ucla as Trying to read this real quick to you guys, give you some of these details. Um, do, 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 do. Well, the most recent update is the UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music received a $1.2 million donations to establish the Kenny Brill Chair in Jazz Studies. Herb Alpert's own foundation gave a half million dollars plus a bunch of uh, donations from other people. The Friends of Jazz of UCLA, etc., etc. The newly endowed chair is expected to be filled by fall of 2019. And uh, blah, 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 blah. 20 years, he was, the, he was actually the director of the UCLA Jazz Studies Program from 1996 to 2016. So Herb Alpert's name comes up in this a number of times he uh, has the whole jazz program named after him and uh, Herb Alpert and Kenny Burrell both are kind of big deal in the LA jazz scene. Herb Alpert is by the way the wealthiest jazz musician in history. He's reported net worth of over 900 million dollars and that's really because he started the record label A&M Records but you know you guys want to joke around about uh, the records like uh, Tijuana Brass and uh, what's the whipped cream one called uh, Taste of Honey and you know you know what I'm talking about the whipped cream one but uh, a lot of his records are very commercial but made a lot of money he's given a lot of money for uh, for uh, a jazz education there's a jazz theater that he has uh, down near Westwood so here's what nobody gets is is UCLA really going to let and is Herb Alpert going to let Kenny Burrell like, be thrown out onto the streets? Um, that doesn't make any sense. You know, um, doesn't he have any um, access to funds being a, a, a former professor of UCLA 
the teachers union. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. But uh, Kenny Burrell's wife is sort of uh, apparently panicked enough about the dire state dire state of their finances that she went into this GoFundMe page. Literally, the page started today or yesterday, and it's already raised 80% of, of what's needed. So I'm going to put the links to that, guys, and uh, think about how important Kenny Burrell is in the history of jazz. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the records. I'm, I'm sorry to say I've never seen Kenny Burrell play, even though he's in L.A. He doesn't play that much, but I wish I would have gone to this 85th anniversary concert. 85th birthday, I should say. He's 87 now. So, um, there was an article online just now, and UCLA is kind of reacting to this uh, GoFundMe page. They're like, uh, we don't know anything about that. Uh, we're going to look into that. Kenny's a treasure. You know, we're not going to let anything bad happen to him. So, I'm confident that Kenny will not be thrown out on the streets. And uh, hopefully he'll be around for a number of more years so we can hear his great music. So... In my usual tradition, I tie up everything with vinyl records related to the topic. This is the one to get. If you only have one Kenny Burrell record, this is the one, Midnight Blue. Looks a lot like an Elvis Costello record of the same uh, cover design, the blue. I've featured that, the two of these records together a couple times. Kenny Burrell with Stanley Turrentine on sax. Uh, I actually don't know all these players. Major Holly Jr. on bass, Ray Barreto on conga, Wavy Gravy, Chili Con Carne is a tune that a lot of people know, Midnight Blue. This is kind of the classic one that uh, everybody should get. And I wish I had one of those fancy Music Matters reissues. This is just a basic old recent uh, reissue on Blue Note. Sounds fine, but there's people spending 50, 80 bucks on the fancy schmancy ones. What else do I have? Let me uh, grab the rest of my... Most of my stuff is just whatever I pick up at used record stores. And uh, if I see a Kenny Burrell record for a few bucks, I'll usually pick it up. This is on a not-so-well-known label called Cadet. The Tender Gender. Can you guys figure out which gender is the tender one? I hope you can figure that out. Um... Here's actually a good picture of Kenny when his hair was darker. Kenny's playing. He's not like one of these note fiends that goes around playing super fast runs and show off. He, he's the opposite of that. He's tasteful, soulful, bluesy, um, just kind of mellow and, and, and cool. Uh, this record, actually, to confess, the reason I got this record is because of the song Girl Talk. Girl Talk by uh, Bobby Troop. You guys know Bobby Troop from TV. And uh, he wrote that tune, and it's been sung by a lot of people. But good version of Girl Talk on there, instrumental version. How about another one on Cadet? Man at Work with Roy Haynes on drums. Roy Haynes might still be alive at 90-ish, 95, I don't know. Uh, what tunes are on here? Uh, Will You Needn't by Thelonious Monk. I like the cover, though. You know, there's a lot of good uh, jazz labels out there that aren't Blue Note. Blue Note is great, but there's some lesser-known ones out there, like Cadet. You might not know as well, but they're worth checking out. Well, here's a label that everybody knows. It's Verve. Kenny Burrell with orchestration by the great Gil Evans. Modern interpretations of the classical guitar, guitar styles played by Kenny Burrell. Let me just peek at this. I haven't listened to this in a while. What's on here? Uh, green Sleeves. Songs that I don't know that well. Who plays on here? A big, a big band, a whole bunch of people. Uh, Ron Carter on bass. Elvin Jones on drums. Uh, Rudy Van Gelder Studios in New Jersey. Engineered by Rudy Van Gelder, I should say. 1964. But it's, you know, Gil Evans. Like, or orchestra. Lots of musicians. Full horn section. Here's one with a nice picture of Kenny. Playing his Gibson, what is that guitar? On the Prestige label. 
Cecil Payne, Elvin Jones, Tommy Flanagan. Uh, all of you. Perception. I don't know these tunes that well. This is a good one, though. This one is fairly well known on the Prestige label. What else do we got here? Another one on Prestige. Kenny Burrell, All Night Long. Who's on? Hank Mobley's on this one, guys. Donald Byrd is on this one. Mel Waldron, Art Taylor. Uh, Prestige, 1963. Rudy Van Gelder. You know, people... Rudy Van Gelder, you got to get him on Blue Note. He, he recorded for lots of different uh, labels, not just Blue Note. And Prestige certainly is one of the classic jazz labels. Everybody should know. What else? Last one on my list, anyway. Nice cover. Kenny Burrell, The Common Ground on Verve. Don Sebesky, Arrange. So it's another large group of musicians. Bill Watrous on trombone. Herbie Hancock. Ron Carter. Uh, who else? Grady Tate. Uh, anyway, Don Sebesky, director. Verve, blues, Kenny Burrell, check him out, guys. Check him out, help him out. Uh, take a look at some of these articles that I'm going to post. Take a look at the GoFundMe page. Consider giving if that's something that you're comfortable and have the means to do. And uh, how do we support older musicians when they get old, you know? Does the Musicians Union help them out? I don't really know. I live a block from a place called the motion picture and television home. It's where people in, in that business go to retire and get care in their old age. And it's, you know, Steven Spielberg gave them a lot of money. And this is not for your giant movie stars. This is for your uh, working class costume people and lighting people and camera people. There are some actors who end up there, but uh, I have a feeling that the... Uh, the jazz world does not take care of its own as well as some of the other uh, uh, groups out there. So uh, a topic for further investigation and discussion. Uh, Kenny Burrell, thank you for six plus decades of music. And hopefully we'll have some more music from you. Hope you get better. Hope you get on your feet. And guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.